AR Fink here. Today I will demonstrate the alpha functionality of the Munchausen NES flash cartridge. Here you see we have a PS1 screen, the cartridge itself inside of an NES, and the USB link cable. Going over to the PC here, use the command line to upload ROMs, but first you have to turn the NES on. You'll hear it makes that that noise indicates that the NES is ready to receive data. So first, we just uh, I'm going to up upload NTRQ here. First step is to prepare the ROM, which I just did. Then a small uploader is transmitted to the NES to get the cartridge ready for the incoming ROM. And then you send the ROM itself. While the ROM is transmitting, the NES will make a beep every few kilobytes to indicate progress of the upload. Uh, this is because currently nothing displays on the screen while the NES is receiving uploads. All uh, I.O. right now is handled through the uh, serial cable and with audio confirmation, which is, you know, right here. So now we just wait for the upload to finish. And these usually take, you know, between 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how large the ROM is. And the upload is done. So, to start the uploaded game, you turn the NES off, grab your Player 1 controller and hold down the A button. This will be actually reversed in the final software. In the final software, you won't have to push anything to make it load the game. Um, you would push the button to get into the menu. But for now, because we're testing um, so much code, you just hold the button down to get the game to start and then turn it back on. And there you have it. Munchausen flash cartridge running NTRQ.